guys, welcome back. Carter Pitsby tripping in the studio of BBT East. We got this place really rocking right now. We still haven't got the studio up yet. We're working on that. My tables and stuff. We got to get our rafter stuff hung there. But the boys in here working. Ray, what are you doing? What do you got going on here? Building and testing rigs. This GPU won't, won't run, so I'm trying to figure out the problem. So that's what they're doing in here. So we're getting a lot of the different rigs that we've done service work to when it comes to thermal paste, thermal pads when needed and putting them in these newer cases, kind of getting them out of some of the older cases. Again, these are open air cases to make things, uh, you know, just simple, lean on a sizing. You know, that's the old Roswell case. You can see the difference here. Essentially same type of GPUs in there, a lot less density when it comes to size. We got some of the 1200 watt power supplies in order. And then as we run through issues with stuff, we go through, to see are these bad motherboards, are these having issues, GPUs that still need to be tested, that sort of thing. So again, we got a couple of the workstations up and running here. And then I'm gonna let us go through here and see kind of the other process that we got going on out here. We got some testing going on now out here with a couple of the rigs here, you can see them running couple of the red devils here doing their testing so we do load testing on these to make sure that they're in pretty good shape and again this is a service center so what we're going to be doing and we're already working with some clients where we're going to be bringing in their gpu some of the older stuff there's a lot of you guys out there that have old mining rigs that you've probably been mining since 2017 and you're probably wondering what can i do with them can i keep them deployed they're not running as efficient what we've done here is to make sure there's a process to where if you guys don't have the personnel or support on it, we can go through and work with you on getting things fixed and replaced. Uh, you know, get new thermal pads, new thermal paste. Remember these things, GPUs hold values, right? So they they're, you, can be used for other things. Gamers can use them for the retail side. And like a lot of those uh, GPUs that we had in that other room in there, are mining edition. So those mining edition ones can be used for other compute jobs too. So getting them restored, getting them back to a working order, these are, you know, assets that hold value. And that's one of the things that we're, you know, we try to make sure that people understand and that we can show that, you know, if you have an old, you know, crusty GPU that isn't working all the way, we can go through and do that testing. So BBT Service Center, that's what we're doing for us and several now new clients that are coming to us with new GPUs. We're gonna make sure that you guys know where to, how to get a hold of us. So it, on bitsbytripping.io, we're gonna be updating the forms out there for you guys to reach out. We can also go out and do a, you know, like field survey stuff. So if you guys have questions around that, you can get to that too. So now on some of this testing, as you can see on these fi RX 580, these are the Red Devils. This thing's running. We only got this running at 30% fans. I like trying to see, you know, if we can maintain under 75C with 30% fan speed, that's a critical number. And I like to say that to a lot of people. People always ask me like, what should the fan speed run? I like to make sure that you can be 75C or lower at 30% on the fan speed. Now that's hard to do on some of the newer GPUs. They're essentially you gotta run them at 70% fan speed to maintain decent uh, numbers. But, or at least that's what most people run them at. But when I look at, if I'm running like an RTX 3080, I'm looking at a 3070, something like that, I'm running those fan speeds 15 to 30%. I don't care that the, the temperatures get up to 60C on those cards, the core itself. On junction temperature and on memory, you gotta make sure that they're not over 110C. You know, you're right there at 99, 94C. That's a pretty normal temperature on the memory side. But looking at cards like this, where we can run these things at 31 mega hash, you know, running those settings, you guys can see the memory at 2150, you can see the core at 1154 there. And these cards running only 30% fan speed allows us to make sure that the fans do not burn out over time. And you know, you're talking about cards from 2017, 2016, uh, on these particular cards, late 2017, early 2018, uh, running essentially for three plus years, four years, pretty much continuously, no question. I mean, some of those are from five years. 
and not having problems with their fans. That's because they're running at 30%. If you're running cards at 100% fan speed, you're going to get about two years max out of them. There's a lot of the nitros end up having that problem if you're running them, especially the Asus and other power color um, retail cards like that that end up having issues. And you can see here we have one that's got a little wobble here. Some of these are also stickers, so you got to be careful on those. But, but that's a quick insight on fan speeds and that. But if you're looking to have support and help with some of your farm, mining farm or GPUs, let us know. There's going to be links down to the bitsbetriven.io page, and we can hopefully get at least walk you through it for you can do it yourself or have an option where you guys can work with us to send us gear for us to replace and fix for you now that we have the service center online. But thanks for subscribing, liking, and sharing, and all that fun stuff, and we'll catch you guys in a bit. Decentralization is one of the most important factors in a global cryptocurrency network. Bitcoin's proof-of-work functions due to the exceptional security provided by the miners of the network. Today's sponsor is Compass Mining, a company with a customer-focused experience providing a tailored approach to purchasing, hosting, or even an at-home option, allowing anyone the opportunity to participate. If this interests you, head over to compassmining.io.